everyone now let us discuss about methylation methylation reactions are mainly meant for the metabolism of endogenous substances though certain drugs are metabolized by non specific methyl transferases the enzymes which are responsible for methylation reactions are methyl transferases and methylation can be considered as an intermediate to phase 1 and phase 2 reaction it can be called as phase 1 reaction as it is a reverse of demethylation reaction which comes under phase 1 and it can be called as phase 2 reaction because of its mechanism though it is a phase 2 reaction there are certain differences for methylation methylation differs in certain ways when compared to other phase 2 reactions the first point is the metabolites formed are not polar or water soluble the metabolites formed by methylation are not polar and water soluble and the metabolites in many instances have equal or greater pharmacological activity than the parent compound this is also an exception example is morphine formed from normorphine so methylation basically occurs in two steps the first step is synthesis of an activated coenzyme s adenosyl methionine s adenosyl methionine from l methionine and adp this is the first step and the second step is the transfer of methyl group from s adenosyl methionine to substrate in the presence of non microsomal enzyme methyl transferase so the methylation occurs in two steps the first one is synthesis of sam which is nothing but s adenosyl methionine from l methionine and atp and the next one is transfer of methyl group from sam to substrate in the presence of non microsomal enzyme methyl transferase so this is the reaction thiouracil drugs undergoes methylation and forms the metabolite methylated metabolite the drug which undergoes example of drug is thiouracil and this is the mechanism or method steps involved in methylation first one is l methionine plus adp in the presence of enzyme methion methionine adenosyl transferase it results in the formation of sam s adenosyl methionine this is the methyl donor next any drug molecule rxh where x can be o nh and s here in case of thiouracil it is s so rxh plus sam in the presence of methyl transferase it forms particular drug adenosyl homocysteine moiety is formed so this is the overall representation of methylation reaction now coming to methyl transferases many methyl transferases are employed in the metabolism of endogenous substances example are catechol o methyl transferase comt and phenyl o methyl transferase pomt phenyl ethionyl amine and methyl transferase pnmt and there are some non specific transferases by which the drugs are metabolized these are examples of some important methyl transferases comt pomt pnmt and non specific transferases now coming to the examples of drugs that undergo methylation drugs or endogenous substances so methylation based on the functional moiety methylation can be o methylation n methylation and s methylation O means methylation occurs at ox along with the oxygen atom. Examples are phenol and catecholamines. The examples of drugs which undergo O methylation are 
which comes under phenols are morphine and the catecholamines which catechols or catecholamines which undergo o methylation are alpha methyl dopa l levodopa and isoprenaline and the drugs or endogenous substances which undergo n methylation are primarily primary aliphatic amine secondary aliphatic amine and aromatic heterocycles they undergo n methylation the examples of primary aliphatic amines which undergo n methylation are norepinephrine secondary aliphatic amines which undergo n methylation are normorphine and third one is aromatic heterocyclics which undergo n methylation are nicotine and histamine finally s methylation uh, compounds which undergo s methylation are thiols examples of drugs are propyl thiouracil and 6 mercaptopure these are certain examples of drugs and endogenous substances which undergo methylation thank you